Let's talk about the return of Apple CEO Steve Jobs. As we know, he's been dealing with medical issues for the past five months, actually for a number of years, but took a medical leave five months ago. He was back, though, on Monday, there to reveal Apple's newest creation. CBS News correspondent John Blackstone reports now on how Jobs brought the crowd to its feet. Steve Jobs had only to walk on stage to get a standing ovation. Thank you. It always helps. And I appreciate Still it. on medical leave from Apple and extremely so, thin, Jobs was here to unveil iCloud, Apple's new online data storage service. But first, he turned the conference over to other Apple executives. It may be a sign of succession planning. If something, God forbid, were to happen to, to Steve, I think Apple was in really, really good hands. Jobs has battled cancer and had a liver transplant, but he seemed invigorated when he returned for the major announcement. You like everything so far? Good. Well, I'll try not to blow it. Apple's cloud service, he said, will store users' music, photos, documents, and more online. Now, some people think the cloud is just a hard disk in the sky, right? We think it's way more than that, and we call it iCloud. Apple is aiming iCloud at those who have or hope to have an iPhone, an iPad, and an Apple computer. With iCloud, everything that's on one of these devices is automatically on all of them. Keeping these devices in sync is driving us crazy. With iCloud, which will be offered free, Apple is pushing its advantage as a maker of both hardware and software in the competition with its big rivals, Google and Amazon. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco. And joining us now is CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis. So you were monitoring all this as well. Uh, John touched on this a little bit, but when you see Steve Jobs, hard not to see how thin he is as encouraging as it is for many people to see him up on stage there. Uh, so this is obviously prompting some new speculation, not just about his health, but also about his status with the company. Yeah, anytime Steve Jobs takes the stage, everyone is always going to be watching him and watching him not only for what he says, but also for how he looks. And there is a lot of speculation right now, given yesterday's appearance about his health, Yet, as far as Apple is concerned, they've yet to come out and say anything about a strategy going forward without Steve Jobs. And it's hard to even think about or talk about because Steve Jobs is the heart and soul of this company. What's interesting to note, however, is the stock price. If people had thought yesterday Steve Jobs unfortunately isn't going to be around for a significantly longer time, then you may have analysts say seen the stock price really get hit a lot more significantly than it was hit yesterday. But it was hit yesterday. It was. And this is something we tend to see. Anytime Apple makes a big announcement, usually the stock runs up in advance of the announcement. And then the announcement comes and oftentimes what happens is the stock gets sold. And the reaction is generally speaking uh, a little bit muted unless there's something bigger, unless there's some sort of, oh my goodness, the company really failed here. People don't think that Apple failed yesterday. They think that it's an interesting idea, this whole iCloud, this whole making music accessible anywhere, anytime. They did not, however, introduce a new iPhone. And there was some speculation going into this that maybe there would also be a new iPhone in the announcement. Mm -hmm. Analysts and investors didn't get that announcement, so that's another component of all of this, why the stock did. It fell about a percent yesterday, so not a okay. significant fall, but a fall. But still one to note. Yeah. So you mentioned they were, they were, there was a little bit of disappointment, because normally June, July is when you see the new iPhone. What about, though, Let's put the analysts aside for a minute. Yeah. For a minute, How are people in general reacting to this idea of the iCloud? Well, it's really interesting because it almost reminds me of when online banking first began. People are a little bit apprehensive. You put your music out there for Apple to store on its servers, all of a sudden you're sort of giving up some of that control and you're giving it to sort of an unfaced individual. I mean, when you put your music on the internet and you don't have it on your hard drive anymore, that changes what kind of uh, access you have to it and also who else has access to it. It. So I, I tweeted about this yesterday, and a lot of people came back to me and said, I don't know if I want to cede mm. all of that control to Apple. But some people tweeted me back and said, well, online banking was the same way. People didn't necessarily want to go online, give up all that personal information. We'll have to ask him again in a few months. Exactly. Okay, Rebecca, <laughs> thanks.